Hello, this video is about some general workflow with LookDevKit. The best way to use it is to first load your asset in Maya and then run a LookDevKit from your shelf. This way you can easily remove LookDevKit when you are finished with the LookDev process so you can have a clean scene for further asset publishing. Now let's run a render. We have a SkyDome light as our main light source. Also there are two balls, grey and chrome ball, and there are two Macbeth charts. The first Macbeth chart accepts lights from the scene and the second one doesn't. Also there is a ground plane which has AI shadow mat shader to create shadows around the asset. If you don't like it you can easily just hide it. If we select the sky dome there is an HDR version attribute on it. By changing the numbers in this attribute you can change which HDR is loaded in the sky dome. There are 10 different HDRs which are all of them are in the multi-layer EXR and when we change this number we change which layer is loaded. If I move this controller with Macbeth charts and spheres, you can see that Macbeth charts are always oriented towards the camera because they have aim constraint. Also there is some animated stuff in the scene. I will change the frame number to 200 and I'm also using 25 frames per second. First 100 frames are reserved for object rotation and the second 100 frames are reserved for sky dome rotation. We can start with this by selecting this lock object rotation locator and then selecting our geometry. After that we can add a parent constraint. By doing this we created a parent constraint for the object so it can rotate. So for the first 100 frames the object rotates and for the second 100 frames we have the sky dome rotation. If we want to change the sky dome rotation by hand you can you do that by using this sky dome rotation offset slider. It goes from 0 to 360 so it can you can have an additional control of the sky dome with this. And that's about it for this first version of Look Dev Kit. I plan to add more features, but they will come in the next versions. Thank you.